One of the things about the theater and about opera in particular, in many ways, it's not true. When I say it's not true, it's not the truth. It's a, there's a truth that's there, but it's not. So we know here's this opera taking place with a historical context. Well, the music, it becomes a means of, of telling the story. And I think it's the same thing with the dancing. So what, what I'm trying to do is how can the dancing and the dancers tell us something that's truthful about what's going on. It tells that story in a context that a contemporary audience will understand. Because if we were doing stuff that maybe if, you know, that was stylistically closer to perhaps how people moved back then, which we don't really know, but if we did do that, contemporary audiences may not understand it. One has to say, how do you communicate this story to these people living in this time, in this place? In this production, there are 12 dancers. These dancers come from various uh, backgrounds. Some of them have a, a lot of classical training. Uh, some of them have more contemporary modern dance background. And some have a, a really good mixture of both. The other thing that's really interesting about them is the racial and ethnic diversity, which is really important. It's a production that in some ways you could say is very American because it is the diversity that happens in this country. And so I think that's what the audience will see is that the positive part of diversity is that it means that you, it creates richness. And so there's a richness that I think will happen on the, on the stage. And I think also with the dancers, that there's a richness in terms of the movement texture uh, because they're not all coming from the same place. There's something extremely entertaining about this opera. And so some of the things that I've done uh, in it, it's, sometimes it's tongue in cheek, sometimes it's really serious. There's one aria that there's some dancing that goes along with it. And, and I was saying to the dancers, I said, it's, I said, it's a little bit like Fosse goes to Egypt. <laughs> because it is, it's very contemporary. Sometimes with working on a project, the challenge is basically about solving problems. This is the problem, what do you do? And so, and then in a context like this opera with Tomer, the whole idea, I'm trying to solve problems that fit inside a concept that he has. And so then I have my ideas about it, but my, my ideas have to kind of work uh, with his ideas. And, uh, and so trying to manage and solve those problems about how that works is what's really uh, interesting, engaging, and so that's why it's really important that I like the people that I work with. You know, in some ways, I think uh, when you are collaborating, you momentarily, you fall in love with the people. You really are in love with them while you're doing what you're doing. And, you know, and then uh, when it's over, you go, go away. And usually you kind of forget it, but what I found is that I, I keep my affection often for the people that I work with.